where there were literally thousands of people there, you know, all celebrating and cheering. And it was a great memory, really. The ship was in Portsmouth. I went up to London, you know, where they were celebrating up in the square there. We were just joined in with everybody celebrating. You know, I think everywhere we went, we got treated to drinks. We had to go back to the ship. They said, "Oh, that's you know, going to be easy from now on." But of course, the Japanese war was still going, and we didn't know quite where we would be sent. I was working in the Japanese section, so the uh, jollifications going on in the European section rather passed me by, I'm afraid. But I, obviously, as with everyone else, we were overjoyed. Uh, by the news and at some point I, I went up to London and I joined in with the hundreds and thousands of people who were just um, milling about singing and shouting and generally feeling very relieved. I caught the train from Heaching up to King's Cross, met up with Mum and Dad. As soon as we hit Tottenham Court Road, it was crazy. People singing, dancing, up lampposts, waving flags. And it was just a wondrous sort of feeling that no more bombing. I was a member of the Women's Auxiliary Service, Burma. And we were in the jungle there. And there was me and my friend, Barbara. A few officers appeared from out of the jungle. And then we had the officers off the MLs, the motor launches, taking us across the river. And we stood on the saluting base and the mostly sailors marched past. And then the Burmese gave a three-day sort of concert, non-stop. We were in Calcutta and the CO gave us an extra day off and a couple of bottles of beer. So we went to Furpo's on Chowringi, which was a big restaurant, and had chicken and chips and the two or three more beers and had a bit of a sort of celebration. We were glad it was over in Europe, but because of where we were and not knowing the future, you didn't really get all that excited about it. The feeling was one of great elation because everybody had one thing in common that everyone that day had survived. I lived at Wembley and that evening there were bonfires all over the place in the streets and the jollity went on late into the night. I left early because I've got to get up and deliver the papers the next morning and in any case I didn't feel all, all that happy about it because I'd lost my mother in an air raid in the war and so I didn't fully enter into the into the spirit of that for that reason. <laughs>